gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Here on Loot Gaming. Well, another. Guess what? This isn't another. This is the first time we're having the first time of Loot Gaming. First episode. First crit. Founder crit. We all love a new crit. I'm kind of excited about checking this one out. This one's got themed around gaming, which to be honest is kind of the main stuff that I like most out of loot. Uh, anime is great, um, but I would probably go with someone like Aki Bento or someone that actually is like anime only. Um, more often for that, but this is something that other ones don't really do. They don't do one that's focused on gaming. So let's get ourselves in here and get a good taste of what's going. Oh, oh <laughs> I'm so happy. That's the best thing to get started off with. So of course, with the T-shirt, we have to go to the wide. How's it going, guys? What's the crack? Welcome to another episode of Loot Crit here on Pastiche of Skin. It's the first one of Loot Gaming where I, I, I'm. Nervous and interested because they went for a theme of legacy for this, and to be honest, for the first choice, they haven't gone to. Wow, that is huge! What the hell size is that t shirt meant to be? Triple XL. <laughs> right, I do believe I'm going to have to change this. Wow, look at the size of this tent! <laughs> I can just block out one of my windows with this damn thing. But yeah, look at this, this is all original sprites from Mario 1. You recognize them, the player one, player two sprites, all of the goodness. An official Nintendo merchandise, of course. Yep, Nintendo licensed product, so they got the seal of approval, which, to be honest, doesn't mean as much as it used to back in the day on the NES. If the game didn't have one of those, it was a uh, pirated game, so what's this? Uh, 3XL, made in USA. Doesn't give any branding other than Nintendo, so we don't know who the print of this, who did the print of this, but uh, it's a nice thick print. It looks like it's pretty good. It's not one all the uh, one print all over, it's actually individual pieces. Um, that feels like it'll wear reasonably well. I don't know, I think that might actually crack a wee bit with usage. In fact, I could probably see it already happening soon. But um, yeah, I like that t-shirt, that's nice. It's a nice color, nice blue color. Um, it's actually got a nice feel to the texture, but nice thickness. Only thing is about size, I think I must have made a mistake. There's no way I ordered a 3XL size. I'm trying to lose weight, I'm not trying to fill myself into this damn thing. I could probably fit me and somebody else into this. Look at it, look at the size of it. <sighs> right. Well, hopefully this shrinks in the wash a little bit that I'm hoping for. Um, but yeah, that's actually really, really nice. Okay, I'm on board with that. We're starting off well. Let's jump back in the crate to see what we got. All right, let's see here. Um, we're going to go with this next. So what is this? Okay, got Skyrim socks. Yay! Um, socks. Um, socks. <laughs> What do you what do you got to say about socks? They look good. I mean, these look like they're nicely stitched in. Um, they're not like a bad print or anything. Skyrim Elder Scrolls, great series, but um, not one that I like. I've never really gotten into the uh, Elder Scrolls series. I'm always waiting for the next Fallout game to come out uh, whenever I hear about one of these from Bethesda. So yeah, this is kind of cool. I like the design of them. Um, these will be they're nice. Thick, they feel like they're nice thick socks, so they're probably not brilliant for summer, but they'll, they'll go really well for the next week. Well, I can't really do anything else other than say socks. Fucking socks! <laughs> right, what else we got in here? We have a Heroes of the Storm mini fig. A uh, vinyl figure. Of course, it's a blind box, so we don't know what's inside it. Let's take a look inside. So, Heroes of the Storm, um, for people who don't know, is a, it's a MOBA game that actually plays with all the characters from Blizzard's franchises. Like uh, Warcraft, Diablo, uh, Starcraft. And um, essentially, those are the champions that you use for it. So, I mean, personally, I'm only I, like I'm only familiar with a little bit of StarCraft and with uh, Diablo. As far as like I played a bit of Diablo, so I don't I know what Di I know who Diablo is. I know what he looks like, but I don't know any of their major other characters. Um, I recognize some of the people from StarCraft. So to me, it doesn't matter who it is. I'm going to be surprised. I'm not going to be excited about anybody, but. From the look of the designs in the back of it, I know what ones I do want and what ones I don't want. Wow, that box is really sealed. Okay, probably, I think I might have just torn the shit of that rather than actually be the way I was meant to open it. But, um, let's see what we've got in our blind box. Oh, it is a proper blind box as well, so let's do it. Okay, there it is. Okay, I'm going to take a wild guess. It's a goblin. I got some kind of goblin. Oh no, I was completely wrong! <laughs> what I thought was the goblin was uh, the goblin pointy ears were actually a pair of horns and a couple of guitars in the back. 
What the fuck is this from? <laughs> Alright. I am sold on this figure. That's pretty damn cool. Um, this looks like something that should have actually came out of uh, Brutal Legend more than anything else. Is it? Is it something Brutal Legend? I don't know. <laughs> with, the, with the many guitars behind it and the axe with the axe wheeling minotaur. <laughs> this is a, that, that's this axe wheeling minotaur is going straight on the shelf. All right, does it say who it is? Well, it's made by Funko, of course, but and Blizzard, but no nothing else other than the numbering. So where does the Funko go? Well, I suppose we have to fill in that gap over there. He's sitting hanging out next to the Predator. Yeah, the scale's a bit off for the rest of the ones that I have sitting around there, but that still looks pretty cool. Probably have to bring the other Funko figures that I have sitting in there. I think there's another one I had from Heroes of the Storm from a while back. Um, it was a different series of figures, but I think it was actually like a Dark Alpha song from Warcraft. So, uh, move that out of the way. Axe Woody Minotaur. That's a, I did not expect that, but that's kind of cool. Um, right, what we got next? We have... Something from Capcom, obviously. Yeah, it's Street Fighter V Shadowloo. Ooh, okay. Well, whatever they did with that, the box isn't staying together, so that looks a bit weird. But yeah, okay. We have a Shadowlaw pin. That actually looks not too bad. Uh, it's a Shadowlaw chest brace pin from whatever group it is. Uh, Sh Shadowlaw, Shadowloo, whatever you want to call it. It's double, double pinned at the back. I don't know, that's... I think it's a bit... Awkward for them to actually give more pin, to give a pin in a box where they're going to be given a pin. If you're going to give a pin, this should be the pin for the box. Uh, multiple pins, it seems like a waste of time to actually have more than one whenever you're going to do one every single month in it anyway, or just themed after your own stuff. Anything Street Fighter V wise other than this would have been cool. I mean, uh, a Ryu bandana would have been cool. Um, a minifig of uh, one of the Puzzle Fighter characters would have been cool. This is actually the worst Street Fighter thing I could have imagined they could have done for Street Fighter V. Which, to be honest, is like, just another example of how disappointing Street Fighter V has been since its release. Uh, even the merch is shit. <laughs> so, let's move on to another thing. Alright, what do we got next? We have a Halo Master Chief hooded scarf. Okay, okay. The Chief. Um, obviously, the Halo series is one of the ones that a lot of people have are close to have actually really cared about. I'm not a massive Halo fan. Um, wow, this I don't, I'm not too sure about the feeling and the material in this. Okay, oh, oh, it's felt on the inside too. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's a hooded scarf. I feel like an Ewok in this. Uh, eh, loot crate exclusive. Inspired by the mall in your armor, worn by Master Chief, built in hood keeps you warm and dry. Game graphic print on one side, soft fleece on the other. Yeah, so you got the graphic print of uh, the Halo mall in your armor on one side, and on the other side you have green felt. So, uh, <laughs> that's. <laughs> let's just do it. Let's do it the non-marketing way. Let's just wear it the way that they did not intend. See, there we go. All right, <laughs> green felt. Now, now that it's green felt sided, turn that around. Come on, find the right angle. There we go. This doesn't seem to want to fit around my neck properly because this is the way it sits. Um, so this could be a Minecraft thing. This could be a creeper branded thing. It just matters whatever side you turn it around to. Um. Yeah. Kind of disappointed, guys. For a Founders Crit. I mean, nice and all, but really, in April? It's, this doesn't have, like, versatility or longevity in mind at all. <sighs> See, is there anything else in there? Yeah, of course. There is our monthly pin. Of course, being the first one, this is going to be the Legacy March pin. And uh, I actually like this one. Heroes never die. That's true. They don't ever die. But um, Luke Gaming pins. Uh, why they they look cool? This is another founder pin. I suppose it's meant to feel special, but there's not really much else for it. It'll probably a bunch of digital materials that come along with it. 
And of course, our usual uh, Loot Gaming magazine, this one, Legacy, Heroes Never Die, the game manual. So they've themed this after the game manual from old PS2 games. I mean, I'm sure you guys don't remember this, but do you remember whenever there was actually manuals for your games, which was something like this? Um, yeah, let's see. Show me your moves, share pictures of your loot with your new Loot Gaming social media accounts using the hashtag Loot Gaming. I probably will do one with the t-shirt, but not with the rest of the shit, motherfuckers. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not, I, I'm really not fussed on this stuff, man. I'm gonna keep this on until the end of the video anyway, I still look like a gone bean. Like, you must find the Dagobah system. It just it feels, it, ugh, ugh, it feels weird on my head. So, uh, Master Chief Scarf. The Shadow Loot collectible pin with an exclusive color to Loot Gaming. It's electroplating. Exclusive color, as in it's not the official, the normal color for a Shadow Loot pin, which should actually be brass or gold. So a silver one was a special edition for us. Hmm. The Heroes of the Storm mini mystery, mystery mini thing. Actually, the best thing out of this whole crate has been my axe wielding Minotaur. And figs, I'm um, to be honest. The figs are actually been, as you can see, pretty damn cool for the last few months. So, stop, so stop putting things that are not cool and enjoyable or have longevity or keepability in them. Stop with this shit. This, what, this, this, this feels like the fucking king hat that they had from a few months ago. That's for a fucking founder crate. Really, guys. Ugh. And Skyrim socks. Oh, Skyrim skater socks. So that's the reason why they're so thick. Because of a bit of skin protection from grinding across the floors. But you're not... I'm not, even, I'm not even upset at the socks. It's just that there's level up for the express purpose of buying clothing. Why are they doing clothing majority in these crates? I'm willing to bet. I'm almost willing to fucking bet in the next crate that I open. There's going to be a piece of clothing in it as well. I am almost sure of this because they've just seemed to have actually like oversupplied themselves in the socks and are pushing them out onto multiple also deals because they're easy to produce and quick to produce. And I don't like that in my crates because that's not what I fucking ordered them for. If you're going to do a specific one for clothing, then do a specific one for clothing. If you're going to do a t-shirt in every single crate, that's great because it's all wearables, it's all advertising to yourselves. But don't be putting socks, but don't be putting things that are actually, I'm waiting for a pair of underwear. If they give me a pair of pants, I'm gonna lose my shit. Um, right, so Super Mario shirt. I'm, yeah, I'm disappointed in them. And the Founder's coin pin, which is there. Now, this month's uh, lucky Master Crate, the gaming Master Crate, was a Razor backpack of lunacy. Like, look at this shit. All of that went to whoever the, the Master Crate, or the Great Crate, or the Giant Crate went to. Uh, the Mega Crate, the Mega Gaming Crate. That is offensive, the amount of gear that the person got. Like, that's everything and anything you could even oh, desire for a gaming setup. Fair play to them, but again, I will continue my uh, statement that there needs to be a Euro crit, a Euro mega crit, as well as an American mega crit, because never, ever is a European winner going to get one of these. Because they're not going to ship it. They just, they will, they will re-roll whenever they, whatever way they select it. They will do that rather than actually send out a European crate. Like there's, why, why would they? Shipping all of that gear, especially for all the stuff that's in that. That's electronics. That's going to have massive shipping taxes and stuff coming into the country. There's no way they're going to ship that out of the States to the, to Europe. They have to actually be, they have to start doing a European mega crate. Otherwise it's like, what's the point in saying like one lucky winner? You're essentially saying, somebody in the United States will be getting. Because a lot of that stuff would have to be transferable. They wouldn't be able to, they wouldn't be able to, they would have to give somebody the value of that rather than actually give them the damn crate contents. And that way they don't get the promotional material they want to get from it. So, you know what? I'm really, really disappointed in this month's gaming crate. Uh, not in this month's gaming crate, in the first one, in the first gaming crate with the name Legacy. You have no legacy loot crate, man. That's that's not even that's not even fucking funny. Uh, that's, that that is a massive disappointment, considering the fact that they've actually like this was one of the first kind of like they announced loot gaming before they announced that loot DX, which was uh, to be their premium premium crate. Uh, they've actually they've actually announced so many crates lately uh, that I, I, 
like, the thematically, they're getting weak as well. Like, I don't know what they're going to do with a gaming crate. If that was legacy, that's not, nothing there is legacy. You've got a Street Fighter V pin. You've got a Halo this. You've got the Heroes of the Storm figure. I mean, honestly, the only thing in this that screams legacy to me is the t-shirt. A Mario t-shirt with sprites from the first game. That's legacy. That's actually almost educational to some kids who are like way too young to actually understand anything before the Halos. That is actually a legacy item. Outside of that, not a single other thing that I received was legacy related. And that's stupid as hell. I don't... I, I mean, right, this was the design they decided for the crate. So you've got Sky City, you've got Medieval Town, you've got Japanese Pagoda, and everything connected in between. That's that's a nice design, you know? I, that's a perfectly fine design, I don't have a problem with that. One sky, one's top, one's bottom, like that's... That works for me. That was actually quite nice, but everything else in this crate has been garbage. Seriously, Loot Crate, you need to actually get your game on properly because that is not good. Like for for a Founders Crate, that isn't that would never entice that would never ever entice me to come back. Or as a person looking at the previous crates to go and do another month, that that is oh that was unpleasant to open up and go through, and I'm not happy. Wow. So, uh, one last thing to actually announce for you guys before I actually close up for the night. I uh, got two tickets, I ended up, not two tickets, I had two free loot crates to give out uh, for today. The um, two winners of the crates were uh, after, I. by the way, I do this on my Instagram, as you can see up here, Instagram, which is Pastiche of Skin. I actually do a um, post up on occasion, just of photographs of like food porn and all that kind of thing. But I specifically put up a video about uh, a couple of loot crates that were available to win. If you want to actually hear more about that or actually get updates of when this channel gets updated, you can add yourself to my Instagram at the link over there. You can also find out through Twitter, which is also Pastiche of Skin. And these two people, because they were paying attention to those, actually won a free loot crate for themselves. This was Jenny Batgirl and Dave the Minogue. They're both followers on the, my Instagram and they threw a comment and a like on the video that I was posting up and they've won a free loot crate. Uh, any of you guys watching on the YouTubes, sorry, but you missed out. I wasn't going to put up a YouTube video just for that uh, whenever I had a couple of ones handed to me for short term, especially over my birthday weekend there, just passed. So, um, guys, thank you very much for watching here on Past Teacher Skin. I hope to be in a better mood for the next video because this was kind of shit. I'm a little bit displeased. So, until the next video, bye bye